I want to leave something behind, man. I want to leave what's in here. Like, how did George Farah manage to get shot, survive, then get stage four cancer, and be dead too? George is a superhuman. Let him see that. This is the man that fought cancer, bro. He whooped cancer's ass. You told me, <laughs> I love you so much, you don't have to pay me. I, I believe in you. George Farah was a valuable friend that would not let you give up on yourself. He's treated us as family. His mentality is just exceptional. And also, he's, um, he's family. Ladies and gentlemen, the boogeyman. George Farah is the man that let you go with feeling you, you're already the winner. <laughs> I think George was one of the more fan supporters I can always in my life. That motherfucker is simply amazing. <laughs> yeah. You look amazing. Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. The definition of guru really fits him. <laughs> Everyone else I feel like that we came in contact looked at you as a client. It was like instant, he looked at you like family. The robbery and the shotgun wounds, and now a cancer survivor. I mean, what does that tell you? about a person, the character. Everybody's his brother. I mean, this guy's got the biggest family I've ever met. You're not gonna meet a lot of people like George. When I think of Guru, I think of George. I can't help but love the guy for who he is and what he does. His legacy into this sport is the caring. Want to make sure you live a longer lifestyle after this. If you really want something so bad, and you think about it, and you dream it, and live it, and work hard, it will become reality. Dude.